Jams Tech News Highlights 2013. Let's take a look at Jamstech's news highlights for 2013. In 2013, Jamstech carried out an around-the-world voyage project using a manned research submersible Shinkai 6500 and its support vessel Yokosuka. The goal of this scientific survey project named Kivele 2013 was to visit extreme environments such as hydrothermal vent fields and hadal zones and find out the habitable limits of life and its unique survival strategies. In the central Indian ridge, a number of live scaly-foot gastropods were collected. These are gastropods partly clad in scales. In the South Atlantic, just off the coast of Brazil, we conducted the world's first exploration by a manned submersible and revealed this area as a rich repository of biodiversity. We also found clues that helped us solve the mystery of the gigantic seamount formation Rio Grande Rise. At the Cayman Rise in the Caribbean Sea, fiber optics were used to achieve a live transmission from 5,000 meters below the sea surface. It was broadcast on the internet for all to watch for the first time in the world. We surveyed the horizon deep of the Tonga Trench, where the world's second deepest part of the ocean is located. We also succeeded in taking video recordings of this trench. In the Kermatic Trench, data were collected to examine the ecological transition of subducting seamounts at the trench. Hydrothermal activities and surrounding biological communities were also discovered. In November, Shinkai 6500 and Yokosuka safely returned to Japan. Details of research in this project will be reported with research achievements. There are a few things that are happening. First of all, there are many people who have never been in the middle of the world in the middle of the world. さまざまな生物を見つけることができて、その生態っていうのを理解できたこと。が二番目としては、あのそういったその深海調査というのを、えー、事故なくあのできたということですね。で、それによってそのジャムステックのあの深海調査をするあの研究、それから技術力というものを世界に示すことができたと思ってます。We have elucidated a significant part of the mechanism that triggered the megathrust earthquake and tsunami of the 2011 Tohoku disaster. In 2012, after the Tohoku Oki earthquake, scientific drilling vessel Chikyu drilled a borehole 850 meters below seafloor in 6,900 meter water depth under the IODP operation. Core samples were directly collected from the plate boundary. A long-term temperature observatory was installed into the borehole to measure the frictional heat caused by fault movement. In 2013, the long-term observatory was successfully retrieved using a remotely operated vehicle. 実は回収しようとして行った時にですね、えー、見つからなかったんです。船はその入れた XY の真上にいることはもちろんできるんですけども 7,000m 下ですから、えー、基本的にはもう目で探すあるいは音響で探すということをやります、まあ、それもあの機動力のある、まあ、我々の ROB を使って、えーまあ、チームがですね非常にこの一生懸命ですね皆さん働いてくれて、まあ、まあ回収できたということですね。From collected samples and the measurement results of residual frictional heat, we found that the megathrust earthquake and tsunami 
were caused by a fault slip, which occurred in a weak and thin clay layer. Moreover, fluid expanded by frictional heat raised the fault zone, which then slipped altogether. Three papers on the research results were published in the same issue of the American science journal, Science. 今回、まあ、大津波ということに着目すると開口軸の付近が滑ると地震性滑りをするということは考えられていなかったんですねいやそうじゃなくてもう開口のその沈み込みを始めたところからある程度歪みが溜まっていくプロセスがあるのではないかということが分かってきたとですね開口軸付近まで含めて、えー、津波防災の対策をすべきであると。こういうことがまあ新しく認知されるようになったと、まあそれが一番大きなポイントだと思います。d o n e t is conducting Nankai Trough observation for disaster prevention and mitigation planning. Real-time data were successfully received from the long-term borehole observatory installed below the sea floor by Chikyu. Jamstec made its first agreement with local authorities on effective use of observation data. In 2013, Jamstec built a new research vessel, Shinsei Maru, to clarify how the 2011 Tohoku disaster affected the coastal marine ecosystem and elucidate the mechanism of fluctuation of the ecosystem. Jamstec is contributing to Tohoku Ecosystem Associated Marine Sciences, or TEAMS project, to support the restoration of the local fishing industry. In the past, the Jamstec is a very important part of the Jamstec, which is a very important part of the Jamstec. But in the past, the Tohoku is a very important part of the Jamstec, and the Jamstec is a very important part of the Jamstec. It's a very important part of the Jamstec. アジマスフラスターという360度回転するフラスターを2機と前方にサイドスラスターを積んでますのである一点にとどまっていろいろなあの観測をその場でやることができるこの船は岩手県の大津地町これが船籍港ということでその大津地町の沖合で360度回した時に皆さんに非常に喜んでいただいたこの船はこんな能力を持っているのかということを実際にご理解いただいたんじゃないかなというふうに思っています。Jamstec's new research vessel to explore submarine resources and contribute to disaster prevention research will be going into commission in early 2016. We held the naming ceremony of our new remotely operated vehicle for marine resources exploration. The name Kaiko Mark IV was chosen from submissions from the public. Mark IV means the vehicle is the fourth updated version. Kaiko Mark IV is capable of diving to depths of up to 7,000 meters. Equipped with powerful manipulators, it can collect more than 300 kilograms of samples. From now on, It will go through field tests for future exploration of submarine resources. In the equatorial stratosphere, the zonal wind switches between easterlies and westerlies about every 28 months. This phenomenon Equatorial Quasi Biennial Oscillation, or QBO, descends from up to down. Thus, it is affected by the strength of equatorial upwelling. Our recent study proved that the strength of the QBO has been weakening over the past several decades, and this is due to the strengthening of the equatorial upwelling, which is caused by global warming. まずその赤道域の上昇流が強まっているっていうことを
、えー、立証する術がなかったんです今までなぜかというと赤道域の上昇流は 0.3 ミリパワー秒とまあありが歩く速度よりも遅いような速度なんですね一方世界中の気候モデルでは、えー、赤道域の上昇流は温暖化に伴って強まっていると言っていますでしたがって研究者の間ではそれが本当に起きているかどうかっていうのはすごく議論なっていたわけです。Therefore, we have compared climate models all over the world with the QBO observation data for the past several decades. In this way, we proved that the equatorial upwelling was strengthening. This research is a collaborative investigation between JAMSTEC and IPRC of the University of Hawaii. The results were published in the British journal Nature. 実際に地球温暖化のシグナルが新しいシグナルが雲よりも高い場所人間が住んでいないような場所でも発見することができたというのは地球温暖化が進んでいるということを一つ示す大きな証拠であるということがまあインパクトのあることだと思います。JAMSTEC is also well known for many other projects and activities. In March 2013, executives and specialists of marine research institutes in different countries were invited to the first meeting of JAMSTEC Advisory Board. This meeting was the first international advisory board to actively discuss JAMSTEC's overall commitment, including research projects and technological development and future visions. JAMSTEC will continue to work closely with institutes overseas for even better cooperative research projects. Edo Ko No. 1 project was designed to revitalize local factories in Tokyo. The task given was to manufacture a research device to take 3D video at a depth of 8,000 meters. JAMSTEC has been giving technical advice to local factories. In 2011, the project was officially approved as a practical use promotion program. In November 2013, Edo Ko No. 1 succeeded in taking video at the 7,800 meter deep seafloor of the Japan Trench. JAMSTEC has made various efforts to introduce its facilities and missions to the public, including open house days. A special exhibition, The Deep, was held at a national museum. The actual size model of Shinkai 6500 and historical challenges to the deep were displayed. The number of visitors almost reached 600,000. It was a great occasion for many people to experience the world of the deep. JAMSTEC will continue to study and reveal the Earth system based on the research of the ocean. Our goal is to actively contribute to solving critical ocean related issues, including environmental protection, disaster prevention, and submarine resources exploration.